In this video, we'll show you how to create a data role using role-based security in Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications for HCM. Before we create a data role in the system, let's first review the basic implementation steps. First, evaluate whether the predefined jobs in the system align with jobs in your organization. Evaluate the predefined or custom security profiles and create a custom security profile if needed. Create a custom job role by duplicating an existing job role and removing or adding specific privileges. Revoke the security profiles on the custom job role so there are no security profiles attached to it. Using this custom job role, create a data role by assigning the job role plus any security profiles, and finally provision the new data role to the appropriate workers. In the system, create a data role by first going to My Client Groups, Workforce Structures, and then selecting Data Roles and Security Profiles. On this page, click Create to create a new data role. Enter a data role name. In our example, we'll create a data role for a legislative data group. Next, choose a job role. Remember, in order to create a data role, you have to have a job role associated to it. Search for a payroll administrator job role. Select the option with the ORA code. We need to further define data permissions on this role. Click Next. Now we will define the security criteria that will go along with the data role. All these sections have required fields. There are generally three options at this stage. Select View All for each required field if you have no further criteria to add to the existing security. You can select a specific predefined or custom security profile for each required field, or you can also use the Create New option and create a new security profile on the fly for any category. In our example, we'll enter a combination of View All and specific security profiles already defined in the system. For Legislative Data Group, we'll select a specific security profile. We'll fill in the rest of the fields with either View All or Specific Security Profiles. Click Next. Now that the security criteria is defined, you will verify each of your security profile selections. Click Next or click the item at the top to progress through each category, paying close attention to the selections you made earlier. We'll assume all our selections are the way we want them. Click Next. The last step is to give a final review of your data role definition. Click Submit. Back on the search page, do a quick search for the data role just created. Notice the inherited job roles listed and the green check mark for the security profiles assigned column. Now your data role is available for provisioning to your users. For more information, you can view the courses on Oracle University or reference the available guides on Oracle Help Center. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.